Hello, it's time to place some dominoes. Let's try pips. We've uh, today got two by Ian and the hard by Rodolfo. Let's start solving the easy puzzle. All right, we need a one that goes there, and then that'll connect to something of which we have two, or it will connect to an 11. Um, so it's a one connected to a five. So it'll go this way or this way. If it goes this way, we'd need a double to finish the 11, and that doesn't work because we'd need them to add to six, and we don't have a domino that does that. So it goes this way. Uh, which means um, we have, well, actually, sorry, I should have looked at the 12 immediately. That's double six. That's the only way to make the 12. So that goes there. We then need an equivalence region down here, which is double four. So the five equivalence goes here. No, this doesn't work at all. Oh. Wait, what did I do wrong? Sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I've confused myself. The one has to connect to the five. The one can't go down because then we'd need six down here, which we can't do because we don't have a single domino that adds to six. So this goes here. I apologize. I don't know what I'm doing right now. The 12 is two sixes. That can only be that. Oh, sorry. The equivalence is two zeros. I just, oof, sorry, sorry. Five goes here. That's three. We finished the 11 with eight. That was embarrassing. Okay. That was the easy puzzle. Completely, appropriately enough, I absolutely blanked on that blank domino. All right, we're on to the medium. Let's start solving. Now look at all these fives. Interesting. So we have three fives accounted for that are enumerated. So that's all three fives right off the bat. We then, and we don't have a double five, actually. So this one of the fives will point up into the five region, and it can't be the six, obviously. So it'll be either two or zero. And in fact, it can't be zero because if it were zero, we'd need another five, but we've already de determined we've, we've accounted for all our fives. So it's, it's five, two goes up there, which means we could put a five, three, but we don't have a five, three. So we'll need a different three that points into the four sized equivalence region. And we have, looks like we have four zeros. Um, so I think that'll be three, oops. That'll be three, zero. We also need a five, zero, which is this one. And um, now we have a five, six, which needs to go somewhere. That's interesting. That, that means that takes up one of our two sixes, which we'll need. So this six goes, um, it goes here because if it went across, we couldn't make the six in a single domino. We don't have that. So, so it goes here, which means we need another three of which we only have one. So that goes here. Uh, now we know how to place our five, the only way to do it. Uh, actually, that was, I guess, always going to be the case. Um, we have a double zero to finish that off, and greater than three is a four. And that's it. That's the medium puzzle. Let's try the hard one, shall we? Okay, we've got a V or a U, probably a V. It looks like more of a V to me. Okay, we've got a, a two-sized 11 region, which needs a five and a six. We only have one six, so the six is spoken for. And in fact, it can't point up because that would make 10, so it points across. Um, we have two fives from which to choose, so that's fine. We have a two size zero region and a third zero. So that's all, no, sorry, we have four zeros. So three of our four zeros are accounted for. Actually, they're all accounted for because we also have a one region up top, which needs a one and a zero. That's the only way to do that. So um, we cannot waste any zeros, which means actually that this zero is double zero because... Um, if we didn't put the double zero here, we'd have to put the double zero elsewhere and we'd waste one of the zeros. So that that's that. What about our other two zeros? We've got a zero five and a zero one. Um, so we could put the zero five up here, theoretically. Then we'd need a different one over here. We could also put it... It couldn't go across into the equivalence region because we don't have enough fives to finish that. Um, it could go down into the inequivalence region. There's no specific reason yet why that wouldn't work. Um, so we'll come back to it. Uh, right. Anyway, so what about our fives here? This five zero we cannot use because our, our zeros are spoken for. So that, that's not a five zero. So it is a five three. So it could go here or it could go up. Don't know which. Um, right. Let's think about our three sized equivalence regions. We, um, we have five fours. So the fours could be, well, five remaining fours. 
So the fours could be one of, but not both of the equivalence regions. We have four threes, so they could be one. So threes, fours, ones. Well, actually, no, not ones, because we need three ones already. Yeah, so it can't be ones. Could be zeros, maybe. One of them could be zeros anyway. No, no, no. No, it couldn't, it couldn't be, sorry. We, we, we're using our zeros as well, or at least we're using two of them. Okay, so not zeros, not ones. We don't have enough twos. So it's, they're threes and fours. Those, those, are, the, those are the options, threes and fours. Right. Oh, and one of them needs a double. We have doubles of both. Do we, do we need doubles of both? I'm not sure. Actually, let's see. Do we have a greater than four and a greater than three in a single domino? We don't. In fact, our only greater than four is a five. So this is a five up here. Can that five point into the equivalence region? Yes, it could do with five, three. We would then need a three connected to a greater than three, which could be a three, four. That could be that. We then need a three pointing down into inequivalence, zero pointing down. Into, I mean, that, that works. Um, oh, that might be the only way to do it, actually. Because if it doesn't point across, and it can't point across to a four because we don't have a five four, then it would have to point down, and we, we've already determined we don't have that. Okay, so that actually is, this is correct. That is correct. So now we need a three, yeah, we need the thing we just did, which is this, um, which means this one over here is fours. So we put the double four here. Wait, no, this doesn't, I've done something wrong. I've done something wrong right away. Sorry, I made a mistake ages ago and I didn't realize it. This would never have worked. This would, the zero will never have worked. Why did I think that needed to be the case? It's because I miscounted the zeros, didn't I? I did. We we don't need. Um, yeah, we we. I miscounted them. Um, I thought we had. I thought we had only exactly enough zeros, but we don't. We have one extra. Sorry, I made a mistake ages ago. Didn't catch it. I think what this does mean, um, because the only thing we can do if we don't put a vertical here is to put a horizontal here, which means we need a zero five. Sorry about that. That was that was poor. Okay. Um, we also need either the one pointing down into the zero or we need a one pointing across this way, which would have to be a, a one or a three, assuming that's correct, which we don't have. Sorry, it would have to be the one pointing would have to connect it to a three or four is what I meant to say, which we, which we don't have. So I think it does need to be pointing down one zero. Uh, this still needs to be equivalent. This still needs to be a double. Are my, do my other assumptions bear up? I think they do, because I don't think zeros were relevant to any of that. We still don't have enough zeros to make another, to make a, a three equivalence region. So I think those other things were correct. I think we still need this five, three here and a four, three here. Hopefully that's, hopefully what I've said was not invalidated by that other mistake, but I, I don't believe there's any reason it should be. Um, which means we need three here, which is a double three, which can only work this way. We now need a zero pointing into something that's neither three nor four at the very least. Um, so it's double zero, which means our only remaining zero goes up here, points into the, actually I was gonna say it points into the greater than one, but it could also point into the four region. In any case, the double four definitely goes here. Uh, we have a one, which points into an inequivalence region, so it should be neither zero, three, nor four, um, which is not currently hard to achieve. Um, we need a, f well, okay, so the one can't go across because we don't have a zero, one left because we've already used that. So it does connect down. So we do need a four, zero or a four, one. We only have a four, zero. So that goes that way. We now need a one connected to greater than one, which is a two. It's the only option. And now we need to make sure not to put our four in the inequivalence region. So it goes here. We finish off with our double one. There we go. Okay. That was, I think, <laughs> I had the right idea about this solve, but I made a grievous error early on that um, slowed down the solve, unfortunately. But it was a good, I mean, as 
as I, as the hard puzzles have generally been recently, I think that was a good, good puzzle. All right, there we go. Those are the pips back tomorrow. Bye for now.